a consumer alert for you tonight. Is that generator sitting in your garage safe? One Tampa man says when he tested out his generator last week, it caught fire. 10 Investigates Jennifer Titus is taking his concerns straight to the company, and she's discovered this is not the only generator with a problem. Terrence McGriff is making sure he is prepared this hurricane season. The last time a storm hit the area, he was not. The power went out at my location the last time the storm came through. My power was out for a little over a week. We had food spoiled, it was hot in the house. That's when he decided that would never happen again. He invested in a generator. The hurricane season was over with and we decided, I just, well I decided to just put it in storage. He says he took it out twice within the past year just to make sure it worked. Then last week he started it up again for the start of hurricane season. Crunk it up and I went to turn to walk off and my grandson noticed the gas started spitting. Gas started spitting out of this location here. So I came here, I shut the generator off. He says he pulled the filter out to see where gas was coming from, started it back up, and it ran fine. Then this part caught a fire. Gas was spewing out this right here area onto the concrete. Once it started spewing out that area, I grabbed a towel and I smothered this right here to put it out because I was thinking about the eight gallon tank could blow. After that, the gas is all over the floor and it was ignited. He put the fire out and called the company Furman. 10 investigates found out there is a recall on another Furman generator, the Furman P03615. The recall states that the carbon canister can leak gas posing a fire hazard. The generator is sold exclusively at Costco and consumers are being told to return it there for a full refund. Even though Terrence's generator is not part of the current recall, he says Furman told him they would take care of everything. His priority now is to make sure others test their generators in case another storm rolls through the Bay Area. Now we did reach out to Furman today to see if any other people have complained about this problem with the generator that Terrence owns. We are still waiting to hear back. And if you have that brand of generator and if you're curious, we do have a list of the recalled ones on our website, WTSP.com.